Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, back to do another collection update. Um, this weekend, I had a birthday party to go to. Uh, my Uncle Tom uh, turned 90, so happy birthday, Uncle Tom. That's, uh, that's quite an achievement in this day and age. And uh, we pretty much went to a lot of different places. Um, I went to Kia's Corner on Thursday or Friday to return to pick up a, um, something for a friend. We went to some Goodwills uh, Saturday morning before the party. We went to some yard sales and flea markets. Um, yeah, went to a lot of different places. But uh, I'll show you what I got. Uh, first, I went to Kia's Corner to pick up uh, three evil masters uh, from my friend Eric. That was the final piece in the puzzle of stuff that I'm sending him. So I can get that out sometime this week. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And this looked really lonely, um, so I picked it up. It's uh, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Um, yeah, pretty cool. VHS tape. Uh, CBS Fox. I've actually already watched this since I've had it, and um, so much fun. I, I do really love this movie. Uh, then we went to a Goodwill, and I picked up another copy of The Poseidon Adventure. Uh, the one that I have is kind of scratched up. Now, I haven't watched it since I bought it, but um, this one was pretty much untouched, so I, um, I picked this up. Uh, they had a brand new copy of The Objective. Pretty cool. Uh, this was a brand new copy of Bucket of Blood and Attack of the Giant Leeches, and um, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, now I'm going to show you the stuff I got from the flea market. Um, you guys probably won't believe this, but I picked up uh, Downton Abbey uh, Season 3. I think it's Season 3. Nope, Season 4. Um, this is the DVD. Picked it up for 50 cents for the entire season. Didn't even look like it had been watched. <clears throat> and then we went to um, my library in my town was having a yard sale, a flea market sort of thing. So I picked up uh, Child 44. Uh, this I've actually seen, uh, The Great Wall. Really, really cool movie. I actually enjoyed it. Uh, Puddle Cruiser. This is from uh, Broken Lizard, of course. The guys that did... Um, Super Troopers and uh, Beer Fest, uh, Club Dread, uh, movies like that. So I figured I would check this out. I think this was like uh, 50 cents, I think, but looks like fun. Uh, something I was planning on buying uh, on Blu-ray, but they had this there for a dollar, and I figured it's fine for now. Um, if I find it eventually, that's fine too. Um, I did like Justice League. A movie I've never heard of called Hidden Away. Looked like fun. Like a fun thriller. A movie called The Canterville Ghost. Pretty cool. Looks like a fun time. Uh, the remake of The Beguiled. Uh, the original had uh, Clint Eastwood in it. This, of course, has Colin Farrell. Uh, Nicole Kidman, Dakota Fanning, and who's the other person? Kirsten Dunst. Um, this was actually good. I really enjoyed this. Um, picked up The Circle with Tom Hanks and um, Emma Watson. Actually, the only thing that came to my mind was Hermione for some reason. <laughs> um, the Age of Ven Acts of Vengeance, rather. With Antonio Banderas. Pretty cool. Oh, let's see. Uh, super pumped to find this one. Um, this is a great movie. Uh, 12 Days of Terror. Um, I couldn't believe I found it there. This is actually what Jaws was inspired by. Um, the, whole, the whole story. 
and uh, I actually watched this on Netflix a few years ago, and um, I was blown away by it. I thought it was just a fantastic movie. Uh, found Johnny Dangerously. This I actually was watching on cable a few days ago, so it was kind of odd that I found it uh, on DVD. This is just a funny movie. I mean, it's not great, but it's it's also kind of fun, though. Um, yeah. This is kind of like a murder mystery whodunit uh, called Columbus Circle. I have seen it. It's it's pretty good. It's not bad. Um, an absolutely fantastic movie called Concussion. Um, if any of you guys are into football or watching football or the rules that football has now are, you know, really deep into the NFL. Um, this is a fantastic movie. It really is. Um, just completely blew me away. Uh, Atomic Blonde, uh, they had it there for a dollar. I have never seen it, so I just picked it up. I mean, how bad can it be? I don't really know because I haven't seen it, but yeah. Um, movie called Strange Days. I have never seen this one. Um, looks interesting. It's a thriller. Anthropoid. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. I like Cillian Murphy. He's um, he's a really good actor. Uh, this I picked up. I found uh, Children of the Corn. This is the Anchor Bay version actually already own this, but I bought it because mine did not have the insert, and that is pretty freaking cool, so, and I believe the disc looks different on the one that I already have, so, I picked it up, it was a buck, so, then we went to another, um, yard sale, um, I did pick up, and I can't show it because I've already put it in a package to a friend, um, I picked up uh, Dracula Has Risen from the Grave. Brand new sealed. I've never seen anything like that in a while before. Um, still had the original price tag from years ago. So um, it was pretty cool. At the other flea market, I also found uh, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. James Colburn. This is a two-disc version of it. Looks like, looks like a lot of fun. I love my westerns. And The Professionals. This has a who's who of all kinds of people. Burt Lancaster, Lee Marvin, um, Jack Palance. It just, just like a who's who. And then we went to uh, another Goodwill uh, later um, where I picked up this movie. I thought it looked really interesting called Freeze Frame. It's like a thriller slash horror movie. Never really heard of it. And this movie I've definitely never heard of, but it definitely stuck out to me. About a zombie. <laughs> this looks like a lot of fun. I also picked up um, Outrage. Um, Way of the Yakuza. Looks like fun. Maybe a chop sake, maybe horror, maybe ultra-violent. Who knows? Um, I also picked up this. Uh, this is a high recommendation from me. Um... I actually watched this on cable, um, bleed for this, uh, it's about a boxer who, it's a true story about a boxer who has a neck injury and they're telling him he'll never walk again and he battles his way back, it's a very inspiring story, very cool, definitely highly recommended, Miles Teller's really good in it. I found uh, Destroy All Monsters, pretty cool. And then we went to um, Dollar General, and now they have their Halloween movies out. Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching uh, Movie Review Time. Uh, Rob just went this weekend also and picked up a few titles. But, you know, these are just a few things I didn't have. Um, relatively decent priced. Uh, Silent House, the remake on um, Blu-ray. Uh, don't Blink with uh, David Austin Green and... Uh, I can never remember her name for some reason. Yeah, Mina Savari, I think. 
uh, picked up another R.L. Stein, uh, mostly ghosty, ghostly. Have you met my Goyle friend? Goyle friend? <laughs> I can't even talk today. And I picked up uh, mostly ghostly one night in Do Doom House. So yeah, picked up that. Something I was really pleased to find was he never died. Uh, Henry Ro Henry Rollins. Looks like fun. Heard good things about it. And this last one is called Scorpius Gigantis. Ah, this looked like a cheesy uh, movie, but it looked like fun, so what the heck. And finally, the last thing I picked up, um, I went to Redbox and rented Hereditary. Um, really, really enjoyed it with my wife. Um, she didn't like it so much. She thought it was really creepy. And I told her that, that was the point, <laughs> but um, yeah, I uh, I picked up Terrifier. Um, I bought it. I don't really have the money to buy it on Blu-ray right now. Um, I'm sure I'll upgrade eventually, but just wanted to own it for now, so I picked up Terrifier on um, DVD. Already watched it. Of course, I love it. Um, Art the Clown is amazing in it. Um, so yeah. But that's it, guys. Um, that was my weekend. I uh, didn't really go anywhere on Sunday. Um, had some family issues, but um, yeah. Uh, if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.